welcome to the retreat in Scorton, up near Preston in Lancashire. I'd like to show you some of the sketches that I did while we were spending a week there. I'm going to be producing watercolours from. Beautiful place, this babbling book brook running down the side and then this, uh, this glade. One particular morning, I think it was about 7 o'clock, the sun was absolutely, you can see it there. And this is the sketch that I produced on the day. It's about A3 size, two A4 pages. And then I settled down here just to do the, the view from the front of the cabin. Again, I started off on one side of the page, which is what I usually do, and then if you want to extend it further, you can use the other side, which is what I'll do later. The reason I've uh, filmed myself doing the sketches, which is quite a tricky performance when you think about it, that's why the camera's all over the place. I'm holding the camera with my left hand, and I'm trying to sketch with my right hand. But what you can see is that I don't go into too much detail on these sketches. The idea is to get the feeling more than anything else. And I'm quite happy with that as well I've got because uh, f as you can see there with that view doesn't you can't see it on a camera but when you actually sit and sketch it yourself you can get the depth and you can get exactly what you you felt like when you when you just first saw the scene as it happens sitting in a hot tub would you believe? I've sped it up slightly now, just so <coughs> that we get through it a little bit quicker. We actually got seven days of perfect sunshine, which must be a first around this area. The, the glade itself is absolutely, it's like a sponge, it's absolutely sopping, but it's dried out a fair bit over the last few days. What you saw there was using the putty rubber. So it's a case of, you saw the light on the, the leaves if you get the basic shape of the, just get a light and then take out anything in the background. I've got the fence in there coming towards me. And now I'm trying to darken the, the dark shadows. Even though I'm using, I think, a 4B pencil at this stage, it's, uh, it's still tricky getting the dark darks. After try a few with charcoal I think but as you can see we're getting the the idea of the the distant view with the trees and the gates and then this right hand side shot up the hill and near that gate is where I took the first uh, shots from to show you the cabin as you can see now we've moved over to the other side um, and what this does, it, it kind of gives you two options. We can either do a portrait shaped painting with using the right hand side, or we can use both sides and go for a go for an A3 picture. Another thing sketching helps you do is get the composition right, which is devil of a thing to do, just diving straight into painting. Of course you can use photographs for that. Like I say, the photographs, especially taken these days with um, with camera phones, um, they tend to exaggerate the perspective too much, and the distant things seem f too far away. So that's uh, another plus point to getting your sketching done. And don't forget, it's not a masterpiece we're after; it's just an idea. And uh, I think the idea is kind of starting to work now, even though that central tree, as you can see now, the central tree is right in virtually in the middle. I think it still works as a composition. Now I'm working on this left hand side here. Um, gives me an idea of how I want the picture to look with the brook running along. But I will actually do that part again, as you'll see shortly. Alright, so I hope you've picked up a couple of tips on how to get yourself some 
decent sketches. So there's the finished drawing. And then like I say, I, th I wanted to do that left hand side again, so I've done it a little bit close up. Yeah. And we'll use both these pictures to create a watercolour. By the way, my name is David Walker. I make online tutorials and if you'd like to see these sketches turn into watercolours, follow my page or subscribe on YouTube and you'll see when they're released. Alright then, thanks for watching. See you soon. Thank you.